Oh boy. <clears throat> All right. Got our live stream done. Recorded the Modern Warfare remastered quick look. And now home to try to get through the rest of the Gears of War campaign and start seeing if there's any multiplayer action to be found. I had hoped that uh, the issues that we both were having with PlayStation VR would have kind of worked itself out being on a nice flat green screen. I mean, that would have been less than ideal, the idea that you might need a green screen to get it to work right. But I was kind of hoping that it would at least get... Yeah, stop walking. That's a smart fucking move, you dipshit, motherfucker. God damn. Uh, I had hoped that, like, oh, we, we'll get to the studio. It'll hopefully work better, and it'll, this will be a fun stream. Um, and it still, I think, was a fun stream. But that stuff seems to not work. You know, Brad pulled out measuring tape at home to get stuff set up and like <laughs> played in pitch darkness, full bright, all this other stuff. Installed, you know, the, the 401 firmware update. Man, wow. I don't even know what to think. I, I, I just, I don't even know what, yeah, I, I don't know how this will go next week when this thing comes out. Like, I, I just, you know, how many people are going to be in the boat of, like, it just working and not having issue? Because it seems like some of the reviews, well, I don't know, it seems like some of the reviews pointed out that the tracking was a problem or, or that the tracking was not perfect, but then we're also like, eh, it's fine, which I think is really crazy. Um... It's, I mean, oh man, I wonder, I wonder if it'll be fine or if this is going to be a real problem, like a real mess next week. That's the sort of thing that would have, I think, a negative effect on VR overall, to have like the theoretically most mainstream headset be of the quality we saw today, if that's widespread, which I, I don't, I, I, right now, I don't see a reason why it won't be widespread. And, you know, there was the one guy kind of saying that he got a, uh, uh, felt like he had a bad headset and got it replaced, like that's, I don't know, like, that's... certainly possible, but I don't know that this is explained away that easily, given the number of other people that are reviewing it and, and talking about it and running into similar issues, like it's, man, a fucking bummer. This should be like a fucking amazing moment of like, man, now there are three of these things and this one is a little different but still cool and plays some of the same games, but man, you know, they went out and got some of their own games. And like, this should be like a, a an awesome step forward for this stuff, but I don't, I don't know how this is going to go. Like, say what you will about the value of the other headsets uh, in terms of available software and requirements and all that stuff, but in my experience, they work as advertised. And, like, right now... Right now, I can't comfortably say that about PlayStation VR, which is... Fucking crazy! What? I would not have guessed that this would be the situation that we would be in right now with 
regards to like head like concerns about VR headsets after you know the vibe and the rift already shipped and all that sort of stuff like we got multiple mobile VR headsets <coughs> either out already or coming you know like the, that I could not have guessed that that I would have been left with like fundamental misgivings about one of these things given the demos we saw of this thing ahead of time and all that sort of stuff like I would not have guessed in a million years that this would be the situation In retrospect, maybe the notion that they were building tech around the technology that powered PlayStation Move should have been more of a red flag, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I'm fucking bummed, man. Like, that thing... It's, it's really disappointing. Like, like again someone who has really liked VR and wants to see this this stuff grow. What a bummer. But yeah, I mean, you know, maybe they'll have a firmware fix in place next week. Like, <laughs> that's the, the craziest thing about all this is sounds like 40 the, the 401 firmware did make some changes around that stuff <clears throat> so maybe there's more they can do do you still need the breakout box on the pro my understanding is that yes you still need the breakout box on the pro they did not integrate it and also, the breakout box doesn't start. I don't know if you caught, uh, but if you have an HDR TV and VR, you would need to move cables around every time you wanted to use one or the other. 